You've heard several stories lately of customers behaving badly, licking ice cream and putting it back into the freezer. Now a Pinellas County woman is accused of putting her dirty hands in some ice cream, not once, not twice, but five different times. And that's just one of several accusations we found in her arrest records. Young Soon Wipcha is facing charges and forced a restaurant owner to destroy $2,000 worth of food to ensure all the food is safe to eat. Our restaurant red alert team immediately looked up the records for Lulu's ice cream and candy shop. And we found this incident prompted some high priority violations with a list of food that was considered contaminated, including more than 80 gallons of ice cream pies and more than a dozen ice cream sandwiches. A lot of food. Liz Crawford talked to the owner of Lulu's on Gulf Boulevard in Indian Shores, and she is there live tonight. Liz. Yeah, well, Katie, Lulu's is closed tonight. The owners tell me they'll reopen tomorrow after this disgusting incident, but it turns out that a woman who worked right next door at the food mart is the person accused of doing all of this. Now, I'll tell you this much. Police say Jung Soon Wipcho was caught on camera urinating into a bucket just like this one. Now, unfortunately, this is the kind of bucket the owners use to churn their handmade ice cream. Police say she then emptied the bucket into a rinsing sink used for washing ice cream utensils. Cameras also caught her picking her nose before putting her hands in the ice cream and spitting into the ice cream containers. Lulu's business owner said they shared a bathroom with the Food Mart staff, and that is how she accessed their shop. Obviously, this is a very small parking lot, and uh, I'm guessing, we didn't even know she was mad, but I'm guessing it's from the parking and us being popular. I don't know. Maybe she's just got a vendetta against that. I'm not really sure. Now, police say Lulu's had to throw away about $2,000 worth of products. A food safety expert told me this kind of thing is so dangerous for consumers because you would have no way of knowing this happened. Instead, he puts responsibility on business owners. We don't know what diseases or illnesses this perpetrator has, but uh, things like hepatitis A, for example, can make a whole lot of people sick. Cameras are wonderful, but cameras are after the fact. You have to have staff monitoring uh, food and food equipment in areas where food is prepared. Now, the owners told me that as soon as they saw that camera footage, they contacted police right away. They actually threw everything away into police dumpsters so no one could try and reuse it or pick it up. Now, I did try and talk to the owner of the food mart to get his side of the story. All he said to me is no comment. Wow, all that waste. What a shame. Each week we check out the restaurants that do not pass inspection. You can check them out online at WTSP.com slash restaurant red alert.